If you have high blood pressure, you may have heard that fasting can help. So in this video, let's go over the most recent research. There's some good research out there showing that fasting really can help lower blood pressure. Now, I'm personally concerned about blood pressure as well. Unfortunately, high blood pressure does run in my family. Both my parents have high blood pressure, and that makes me more likely to get high blood pressure when I get older. So I like to stay on top of all the latest research and all the different methods for keeping my blood pressure under control. So let's go over these three research studies. Now the first study was a medically supervised study to try to figure out can water fasting, like no food at all, help lower blood pressure. So what the researchers did, they took 174 people Everyone in the study had high blood pressure, 140 over 90 or higher, okay? And what they did is that they ensure that they only drank water for 10 to 11 days, no food at all. I know that's really aggressive, but the results from this study were just incredible. 90% of the participants after 10 to 11 days of water fasting had normal blood pressure, which is unreal. The average reduction was 36 points, that's that top number went down 36 points on average, whereas the people who had really high blood pressure, say over 180, they had an average reduction of 67 points, which is just unbelievable. Out of all the studies I've read about blood pressure and everything, I've never seen results like this before. So 10 to 11 days of water fasting can dramatically lower your blood pressure. Okay, now I don't expect anyone watching this video to really do a water fast for 10 to 11 days. If you do decide to do that, you really have to be medically supervised. Like for example, I've been intermittent fasting for say 10, 12 years. Me and my wife, we've been doing it for a long time. I've never fasted, just water fasted for more than 48 hours. Most of the type of fasting that I do is intermittent fasting, like 16-8 where I would you know, fast for 16 hours a day taking all my calories for eight hours or I would do alternate day fasting eat every other day or maybe I do a 24-hour fast once a week and that's what I'm going to talk about in these next two studies. So if you're looking for, for a more like reasonable way to lower your blood pressure through fasting let's talk about this next study. Now the next study was actually a time-restricted eating study. So what the researchers did plus this was a smaller study was a 12-week study where they only gave the participants a 10 hour eating window. So they fasted for 14 hours every day, and then they took in all the calories within a 10 hour eating window. But they did this every single day for 12 weeks. Now, for example, if they did a, pro a protocol like that, say every other day where they fast one day, then eat normally, I would call that intermittent fasting because they're doing it intermittently. But the fact that they did it every single day for 12 weeks, I would call that time-restricted eating. So after the 12 weeks, you know, the participants lost weight and they had a lower blood pressure. So time-restricted eating is another great way to lower your blood pressure naturally. Now the third study is also another doable way of fasting. This was a modified alternate day fasting study. Okay, this was a 10-week study, also a smaller study than the first one. But what they did is that one day the participants ate normally, and the next day was with the alternate day fasting day. They took in only 25% of their normal calories. So for example, if they were eating 2,000 calories a day, they only consumed 500 calories. So one day they ate normal, then they only had 500 calories. And this was a 10-week study. And by the end of this study, the participants lost weight and they had a lower blood pressure. Now the improvements in blood pressure were, weren't as dramatic as the water fasting, but they were still definitely significant. So if you're looking to lower your blood pressure through fasting, you can try time-restricted eating, you can try modified alternate day fasting. And my own personal experience with it, since you know, I've been, I'm a personal trainer and gym owner for 30 years, I've put so many people on intermittent fasting type programs, also other people who had blood, high blood pressure, and a number of them 
were able to normalize their blood pressure through losing weight and through like a 16 day intermittent fasting program. Okay, now let's talk about why does fasting work so well for lowering blood pressure? Well, one, the obvious reason is just, you know, the, the participants lose weight. When you do intermittent fasting, you're restricting calories, there's hormonal, you know, benefits to it. You're gonna lose weight and just the weight loss is gonna lower your blood pressure. There's a direct correlation between losing weight and lowering blood pressure. Many studies have proven that. Now, my other personal belief why fasting works so well for lowering blood pressure is that it's increasing your insulin sensitivity. So many people with high blood pressure have like metabolic disease, metabolic syndrome, like high blood pressure, right? Say fatty liver disease, insulin resistance. That's the big one. So insulin is your storage hormone. So when you're resistant to insulin, when insulin is not able to store away those excess calories within your body, actually like carbohydrates are stored in your muscles and liver, fat is stored in, you know, in, fat, in, in fat cells, right? When insulin is not working right to store away these excess calories, that's when all the problems begin. That's when your blood pressure goes up. So fasting is probably one of the best possible ways to keep insulin low to actually maybe possibly even get rid of your insulin resistance and normalize your blood pressure, okay? So some people also feel that just eating a low carb diet, because that helps with insulin resistance. Eating a low carb diet increases your insulin sensitivity. That's another good way to improve and lower your blood pressure. Okay. Now, if you want to learn more about intermittent fasting, I have a number of videos on my on this channel. Check out this playlist of videos.